y'all, it's another wonderful WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton here in San Antonio, Texas, and you have found a video on a YouTube channel with over 200 videos of how to improve your WordPress website. So be sure to check them out. Today we're talking about why is my WordPress website so slow and how do I fix it? I'm gonna give you three ideas of maybe what could be causing the issues with your website's kind of sluggish behavior and I'll give you some ideas of how to improve those things. So I'm gonna give you the first tool is GT Metrics. That's this website right here. Um, and you can go over here and you can just type in your domain name and it's gonna give you a very quick report. What you wanna see are really great scores like this and you also wanna see your load time be maybe three seconds or less. So we're running video on the front side of our website so I think that's causing some of the issue. But I don't wanna play guessing games here. I wanna go down here and kinda of see uh, clicking through these things and, and figure out, okay, how what's causing my issue? Green obviously is good. Uh, we don't want to be in the F area, right? So how can we improve those things? If you just open up these little drawers, it'll start to give you some ideas of how to improve uh, each issue that you're seeing on your website. A lot of times what you're going to see is uh, optimizing images. That's a big part. So that's our first thing I want you to be aware of is that you have if you have images on your website, you need to be sure they're optimized smaller for the space that they're rendering in. So I'm gonna give you an example. What you don't wanna do is if you have an image that's supposed to be this small in this space and you view the image, you want it to be sure that it is, in fact, that small. What you don't wanna do is try to cram a really huge picture down into this tiny space because the browser is still gonna to have to load that really huge picture. So check all your images and be sure that they're optimized. The next thing you wanna do is be sure that you don't have too many plugins running inside of your dashboard. So I want you to jump into plugins area and go over here. Now, in my own opinion, I don't have this anywhere other than in my own opinion, um, I recommend having only no more than a dozen active plugins. So no more than 12 running on your website. And the reason why I say that is because you start to see a website really slow down as you add all this additional code and function that you might not even necessarily need, right? So be sure that you're only running 12 and if you can, go ahead and delete anything that you might not be using. So clear this out if they're inactive. Um, the other thing you wanna be sure of is if you are using video, because video can definitely slow down your website, that it's optimized really well for fast load time and uh, even better yet, maybe it lives on YouTube and just is embedded inside of your website. So those load really, really quickly. All right, the last thing I wanna share with you is what is a CDN? So this is the ability to, that's really gonna, you plug this into your website and this thing's gonna rocket launch uh, the load time of your website. So I'm gonna put the link to this video that fully explains that in the description box below. I'm gonna give you two other bonus videos as well. Eight things to do that you must be doing on your website and eight things to stop doing on your website. I hope this helps you and helps you improve your load time. If you have questions about your WordPress website, reach out to me. I'll see you next WordPress Wednesday. Bye, y'all.